This video looks at finding the gradients of lines using the rise over run method. Lines have this formula where m is the gradient. And lots of teachers use the method m is rise over run. That is the gradient is literally the rise over the run as a fraction. So let's see how that works. When we have a line, the run is a distance to the right along the x-axis and the rise is the corresponding increase along the y-axis. The run is always to the right and if the rise is up it's a rise, it's positive, and if it's not a rise it's a drop then in fact it counts as a negative. Let's see that in practice. We have a line equation for every two across it goes four up. So m is rise over run, 4 over 2, which is 2, and we can put that into our equation. Another example, if I go 4 across, then it goes down 1. So my rise is not a rise, it's a drop, so it's minus 1 over my run of 4, which gives me a gradient of minus 0.25, and that's the equation of my line. The real use for rise over run, I think, is when it's impossible to work out one to the right. So not like the ones above, but in cases like this. Here we can't work out what the rise is for every one across, because the graph is too large and we can't see the tiny little fractions that are in there. So in this case we end up having to use a much bigger triangle. We go 400 across, we go 250 up. So our rise over run is 250 over 400, which a calculator tells us is 0.625. And that gives us our equation for our line. Our starting point of 100 is our constant, and our gradient is our rise over our run. So it's in situations like this that rise over run really takes over. Normally, you can just work out the gradient by how much it goes up for every one to the right. To recap, gradient is rise over run, where run is along the x-axis and rise is in the y-axis. Run is always to the right and rise up means that the gradient is positive and the decrease a negative if it is down.